Hey everybody, Ace Channel Liam here. I hope you're having a great Tuesday. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Form Fight. Form Fight is a series where we take a look at a Pokemon with more than one form or a branched evolution or counterpart Pokemon. We have a look at the differences between the Pokemon in question and we try and work out which one is the best. And so we can see these Pokemon in action on the battlefield. We also have a metronome battle between them just for a little bit of fun. If you're a fan of Form Fight already and you're ready for more, make sure you hit the like button. Let's aim for a thousand likes. I think we can do that if we really try. And of course, hit subscribe if you're new so you never miss an episode. And of course, don't forget, use code ACE to save money on G Fuel. It's Peach Ice Tea again this week because I've recorded two episodes back to back and why wouldn't you want Peach Ice Tea? It's the best one. It's really refreshing and it's literally getting me through all this extra recording I have to do before Sword and Shield come out. Although by now Sword and Shield will be out so you'll be like, Liam I don't get it. Just trust me, this is helping. With all that out of the way, let's have a look at today's challenges. Today on Form Fight we're going to be comparing two counterpart Pokemon from Kalos, which are Xerneas and Eveltal. Now these two legendary Pokemon are the box art mascots for Pokemon X and Pokemon Y respectively. But what makes these two counterpart Pokemon so different? Let's take a look. According to the Pokedex, Xerneas stands at 3 meters tall and weighs 250. 15 kilograms. According to its Pokedex information, when the horns on its head shine in seven different colors, it's said to be sharing everlasting life. Legends say it can share eternal life, which is basically what we just said. It slept for a thousand years in the form of a tree before its revival. As for Eveltal, it's 5.8 meters tall, although part of me thinks that might be the wingspan, and it weighs 203 kilograms. Its Pokedex information says when its life comes to an end, it absorbs the life energy of every living thing and turns into a cocoon once more. When this legendary Pokemon's wings and tail feathers spread wide and glow red, it absorbs the life force of living creatures. Appearance-wise, Xerneas is a black-bodied stag with a blue neck and head and large golden antlers that have various different colored branches to them, with purple, blue, yellow, and orange coloration, for example. Eveltal is a large bat-like creature with wings and a tail that end in almost large hand shapes, and its body, which is mostly black and red, resembles the shape of the letter Y. In their shiny form, Xerneas's black body turns white, and its blue neck and head turn into a much lighter blue, and Eveltal's black areas also turn white, making it resemble tasty, succulent bacon. Now let's have a look at their typing, weaknesses, and resistances. Xerneas is a pure fairy-type Pokemon, which makes it weak to poison and steel-type attacks. It resists fighting, bug, and dark-type moves, and is completely immune to dragon-type attacks. Eveltal, on the other hand, is a dual-type dark and flying Pokemon, which makes it weak to rock, electric, ice, and fairy-type attacks. It resists ghost, grass, and dark-type moves, and is completely immune to both ground and psychic-type attacks. Now let's have a look at the stats and abilities of these counterpart Pokemon. Both these Pokemon actually have the exact same base stats, with great defense, special defense and speed, excellent HP, and an incredible attack and special attack stat. Which is great because it gives you a little bit of leeway with these Pokemon in how you choose to build them. Although, if you're using Geomancy on Xerneas, you probably want to stick to special attack. Xerneas' only ability is Fairy Aura, which increases the damage caused to fairy type attacks by 33% for all Pokemon on the field. This, of course, gives Xerneas' stab moves even more firepower. Although, do be aware, that means your opponent's fairy-type moves are powered up too, and Xerneas does take neutral damage from those, so just be careful. As for Eveltal, its only ability is Dark Aura, which does exactly the same as Fairy Aura, except for Dark-type attacks, increasing those by 33% for all Mons on the field. Again, obviously this also powers up your opponent's Dark-type attacks, but... Eveltal resists them, so it's not as bad. Now it's time for me to decide which of these two counterpart Pokemon I prefer, and personally, I prefer Eveltal. I prefer the fact that it looks cooler, its ability powers up dark type moves, which it can use with same type attack bonus, but also if the opponent's dark type moves are powered up, they will be resisted if they're used on Eveltal. Whereas with Xerneas, the fairy aura, as I said, powers up fairy type moves for Xerneas, but also powers up fairy type moves for the opponent, which they can then use for neutral damage on Xerneas. So it's a little bit of a riskier play using Xerneas because of fairy aura, although I know everybody who plays competitively probably uses Xerneas over Eveltal, and they're going to tell me I'm completely wrong, and that's okay. This is about my preference and then you can decide your preference at the end of the video which is you know it's choice and opinion it's wonderful but of course it's not just up to me to decide which is my favorite it's up to you guys to decide which is your favorite before you do let's see these pokemon in action on the battlefield it's time for the metronome battle before we get started i'll point out these pokemon have max ivs in all stats zero evs in all stats they're not holding any items they've got neutral natures they've got the same base stats their abilities are Pretty much the same, just their stab moves are powered up, I suppose. The only advantage or disadvantage any of these Pokemon gets comes from their typing. Everything else is all up to the metronome. Let's go. 
Here we go, it's a battle between the top dogs of Kalos, or the top birds and deer, I suppose, of Kalos. It's Xerneas versus Iveltol, fairy versus dark and flying. It's life versus destruction or death, I suppose. The absorption of life. Here's a dark aura and a fairy aura and a dark aura. And would you believe, Kel Surprise, a fairy aura from both sides. So the power of fairy and dark type moves in this battle are going to be increased by 33%. That bodes well for her uh, Iveltal um, in terms of doing fairy type moves against Xerneas, but not vice versa. Although, it does mean that Xerneas is going to do more super effective damage against Iveltal, if possible. That Amnesia on the first turn from Shiny Xerneas is going to raise its uh, special defense by two stages. Here's a double team from regular Iveltal. You can't hit me with super effective moves that are powered up by 33%. If you can't hit me, mate, up goes the evasiveness of that um, regular Iveltal there. Shiny Iveltal, the Bacon Bird, goes for Rock Smash. It's not going to be very effective because it's a fighting type move, even though it's called Rock Smash because it's about smashing rocks. Doesn't get the defense drop, though, on that Xerneas, unfortunately. And what will it retaliate? with it's gonna go for smoke screen brilliant play there it's gonna lower the accuracy of the shiny of Eltol there so that does not bode well each team now has some kind of accuracy or evasiveness advantage very very interesting plays there regular of Eltol is gonna go for nasty plot and increase its special attack by two stages trying to counteract that amnesia from the first turn from the shiny uh, Xerneas there and Shiny of Eltol is going to follow up. What will it do here? It's going to go for Fiery Dance. Very interesting play from the get-go there. So there's the Fiery Dance. Dealing a little bit of chip damage there to Shiny Xerneas. No stat increase, though, for Shiny of Eltol. Here comes the Shiny Xerneas, who is going to go for Flying Press. Great move there. Shades of Horlucha doing a great chunk of damage there to regular of Eltol. And now it's time for regular Xerneas to follow suit. What's it going to do? Going to go for Powder Snow, which is super effective on both the Eveltol there. Doing a decent chunk of damage to both of them. Gets the freeze on the uh, the regular Eveltol there, who does have the plus two special attack. So that's taking a risk out of the equation right there. Shiny Xerneas goes for Crush Grip on the Shiny Eveltol. Maybe they're going to try and work on taking down the Shiny Eveltol. There's the regular Eveltol, frozen solid, unable to move, trapped in mid-flight. And here comes regular Xerneas, who is going to go for Toxic Thread, which is a great play there. That's going to lower the attack, I believe, of the... Uh, no, it's the speed by one stage of Eveltol. Didn't poison it, though, of course, because the freeze is in effect. Very lucky there. Here's Conversion from the uh, the Shiny of Eltol there, which is going to make it a normal type. So I wonder how that plays out. It's now immune to ghost... Uh, it, yeah, it's now immune to ghost type moves. But now, fighting type moves are super effective against it. Here comes Wonder Room, okay, by uh, Shiny Xerneas there. So that is going to swap the defense and special defense stats. Sure, why not? You go for it, mate. Not a lot of difference between them, to be honest. Here's Shadow Force, though, from Shiny Veltal. It thinks if my partner is a sitting duck, I'm going to hide so I can't take further damage. So that's, that's a great play right there. Regular Xerneas powers up its metronome and goes for Super Fang. It is avoided by regular Veltal, even though it's frozen. It's sat there frozen solid, but could avoid that Super Fang. Of course, that's probably to do with the... Uh, the accuracy of Super Fang and that evasiveness increase from earlier. Xerneas once again gets to attack, prepares a sky attack, so cloaks itself in that harsh light, gets ready to attack on the next turn. We know that'll be neutral damage. Here's the Shadow Force from Shiny Xerneas there, which is, uh, sorry, it's Shiny Veltal onto Shiny Xerneas, doing a decent chunk of damage. What will Shiny Xerneas fire back with? It's going to go for Aqua Jet which is a water type move, doing a little bit of chip damage there, bringing Shiny Eveltol down to less than half its max HP. Still frozen solid is our good friend regular Eveltol, but it is doing well to not take any damage at the moment. Here comes Shiny Eveltol with Steamroller, but it is avoided by Xerneas because of that smoke screen from earlier. Sky Attack avoided by Eveltol because of that double team from earlier. It's all coming to plan. Here we see the Shiny Xerneas, who is going for low sweep, avoided by Eveltol. If that would have been on the uh, Shiny Eveltol, that would have been... Um, super effective. Here comes the unfrozen, ah, uh, Dragon Rush. Unfrozen Eveltal goes for Dragon Rush, but of course, fairy type Pokemon are completely immune to Dragon type moves, so that does not happen. Shiny, oh, here's a flash cannon though, from Shiny Eveltal onto Shiny Xerneas. Super effective damage. That would have been a lot more damaging if not for that amnesia on the first turn. Shiny Xerneas, what has it got to respond with? It's going to go for Mist Ball. How much damage is that going to do? 
it does a decent amount, decent chunk of damage there onto Shiny of Eltol, and now it's over to regular Xerneas to follow up, goes for Head Smash, that is a rock type move, which is very dangerous, used it on the normal type uh, of Eltol, but does take it down, so Shiny of Eltol is out of this equation, now it's two Xerneas versus one of Eltol, what will the Eltol do to get out of this mess right now? It's got plus two special attack, remember, goes for Struggle Bug, but that is resisted. It's going to damage both Xerneas, but not a lot of damage there at all because of that resistance. But it does drop the special attack by one stage of each of the Xerneas, which does work in favor of this Eveltol right here. So it's given itself a little bit of leeway. Shiny Xerneas is going to start the next turn off, and it's going to go for Peck, which won't do a great deal of damage to Eveltol, which is great news for Eveltol, to be honest. Here comes the regular Xerneas. What will it do to follow up? Goes for Thunderfang. That will be super effective. That's going to give some great damage off bringing Eveltol down into the danger zone. It is not looking good for Eveltol right now. It really needs something to save its behind. Goes for attack order. Again, a bug type move. Not going to do a great deal of damage there to regular Xerneas. Another wasted turn. Wonder Room's worn off, you know, so is what it is. It's going to do so much difference in this battle. Here's the regular Xerneas who is going to go for multi-attack. It's avoided by Eveltol. That would have been a fairy type move. That would have been a match ender. So that double team playing dividends. Here's a poison fang from the shiny Xerneas. Brings it down to about one hit point but does get the poison. So Eveltol needs a miracle right now if it's going to win. It needs to restore its own HP or do something that gets rid of the poison. Goes for twin needle which is not the move to go for. Going to be resisted by shiny Xerneas there. Very, very unfortunate. So it does poison the shiny Xerneas, but it's too little, too late. This Eveltol is going to go down. Shiny Xerneas, hurt by the poison, which means it's the end of the turn. There's the poison taking down Eveltol. It was just too much to handle. The Xerneas team comes out victorious. Well done to our lovely life-giving deer. You have somehow taken life away. So I, I, I hope you're proud of yourself, you knob. So you've heard what I've got to say, you've seen these Pokemon on the battlefield, now it's time for you to make your decision. Which of these two counterpart Pokemon do you prefer? Is it Xerneas or Eveltal? Let me know in the comments below and explain to everybody why your pick is the absolute best. And that'll do it for another episode of Form Fight. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to support the channel like these lovely people down here do, pledge to my Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash AceTrainerLiam. And of course, to save money on G Fuel, make sure you're using code ACE. But until next time, I'm AceTrainerLiam. Keep on training.